Welcome to the Barawan Branch Model Railway. I have always had a soft spot for wooden trestle bridges, probably born from watching trains near this modest little bridge during the 1960s. At that time, all four piers were timber. I revisited it recently, the first time in over 50 years, to photograph and measure it to build an HO diorama, not as it is, but as I remember it from my childhood. Back then, it was part of the main line from Brisbane into Gympie. The road that passed under it was unsealed, with no curbing or footpaths and no nearby buildings. Much of the surrounding land was dominated by mullock heaps of dark granite dug from the nearby gold mines. Although a new main line runs through Gympie now, this line is preserved and used by the Mary Valley Heritage Railway that runs from the old station out to Amamore about 25 kilometers away on a former branch line. This is the first in a series of short videos outlining the construction of a small diorama featuring the bridge. This project is a modeling indulgence. First, it is purely and simply to recreate a childhood memory in 3D. Second, the location is not visually spectacular. Finally, it's a static model that will sit on a shelf. Nonetheless, I am looking forward to the challenge of new materials, tools and methods. I hope also to refine my scratch building skills and techniques. The diorama is 600 by 300 millimeters. Although the bridge is the only significant structure, it is positioned towards one end of the diorama. At the other end, the rising curved track, mullock heaps and trees will provide a secondary focus. The bridge and straight track are angled across the diorama for visual effect. I will be using some new materials and techniques, and will scratch build almost every item. I see construction consisting of four key elements, the bridge itself, the track, the diorama stage, it's more than a base, and the scenery. The remainder of this video outlines the construction of the bridge deck and piers. It is not a blow-by-blow -blow account. Rather, it deals with the materials and techniques used. Queensland Railways used 17-inch diameter poles to construct trestle bridges. The model piers and deck are made of wood. I reduced 6mm diameter dowel down to 17 scale inches, 4.95mm to be exact. On the prototype the headstock timbers are inset into the top of each pile, leaving a section of the pole in the center to which the headstocks are bolted. I reproduced that on the model piers. Here, the inset for one headstock has been cut into the pole. Now the second inset has been completed. Both headstocks are being test fitted to the pile. The piers were assembled on a jig. The timbers have been stained with a solution of India ink and isopropanol, a bit darker than I intended, so may need to be weathered later on. First, the outer piles were glued to the headstocks. Here the piles have been glued to the first headstock. After the glue for the second headstock had set, the center pile was glued in place. The corbels sit atop each pier. The corbel at top center is completed. The indented section sits over the pier head stock. A full-length flat section has been filed on the other side that the bridge span sits on. The corbel at the lower right has had the flat section filed along its length. The two tapered rods hold the corbel securely in place during filing. I wasn't looking to create an essay in symmetry when I took this photo, but it does demonstrate the benefit of using a jig to fabricate the piers. I made a drilling template so the position and spacing of the nuts, bolts and washers was consistent across the piers. The Queensland Railways plan indicates that the spacing of the transoms varies across the length of each 18-foot span. So I made a jig to set transom spacing and to ease fabrication. Here a span is being assembled on the jig. I glued the outer girders to the transoms and allowed the glue to dry before gluing the center girder in place. Because each girder had been hand milled, there were small variations in the diameter of each across their length. I used dollops of glue to ensure that each transom was attached to each girder even if the two pieces did not fully touch. 
This kept the transom tops in line. With the three spans butted together, the bottom face of each girder was planed away so that the top of each corbel is 20 scale inches from the transom tops. The girders of the center span did not align well with those of the other spans, so I fabricated a new span at this point. After the corbels were planed to the correct depth, they were glued to the girders to complete the deck. I used the discarded span to test various means for fixing the rail to the transoms. From top left to right these were, commercial spikes that were too large or round, 0.5mm diameter pins with 1mm round heads, 0.5mm pins with the heads crushed to form a thin head, and 0.5mm pin shafts bent to resemble spikes. Examples of each of these can be seen below them on the span. Clearly, the homemade spikes look most convincing. I made a jig for cutting the spike heads to 2 scale inches. I did not trim the spike shafts for the plane track, but for the bridge transoms I trimmed the spikes to 3 mm so that they did not show underneath the bridge. All the spikes have been fitted to the bridge transoms in advance of track laying. For each line of spikes, a spike was inserted at each end of the deck, against which a straight edge was placed to guide drilling the remaining spike holes. Note also the joint plates and bolts have been added to the girders. The plates then were painted dark rust. The foot planks have been glued along the center of the deck. On the prototype each transom and is attached to the girders with long spikes, two per girder. The foot planks are similarly attached to the transoms. The spikes are driven in flush with the transom top, so their rusted heads are only visible from above. I depicted these spikes with dabs of dark brown paint which I applied with a toothpick. I used lengths of styrene strip as guides to space the paint dots. Getting ahead of ourselves now, but here the bridge deck is being used to set the piers into the scenic base. Until next time, happy modeling.